iOS 11 has had pretty trashy battery life. It doesn't really work that well and I only get about 2 hours. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix that and maybe get like an extra 1 or 2 hours. So it's pretty helpful. So just note at the beginning of this video it's at 40% and yeah this video is only like 4 minutes long. So you'll see how low it gets. I'm not joking when I say the battery's bad. So you might notice that when you tap on the Wi-Fi button, it might actually not turn off. This is not actually a glitch. I want to explain what this is because I was actually confused in my last video, and so are a lot of people. I thought it was a glitch where if you turn it off on the toggle switch and it went into settings, it would still be on. That, I thought, was a glitch, and that is true. If you turn this off in the control panel, it actually doesn't turn off in the settings and what this does is when you tap on the Wi-Fi it'll actually disconnect you from the network you're in same thing with Bluetooth it'll disconnect you when you turn it off but Bluetooth itself will not stop searching for new devices it will continue to search as long as Bluetooth is turned on in settings whereas usually if you turned off Wi-Fi in the control center it would just turn off immediately, but now you have to actually go in manually back into settings and turn it off like you used to do back on iOS 6. So yeah, and note that my battery is already at 33%. But obviously a battery saving trick would be to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when you're not using it, but always prefer Wi-Fi over cellular data because you will save a lot of battery that way. And speaking of cellular data, if you do have to use cellular data, make sure Wi-Fi is turned off. And on top of that, if you are using cellular data, make sure you turn off LTE as this will actually make your speed slightly slower or faster depending on the networks you're using. But you'll actually save a ton of battery life. Also, these are a few obvious things I have to say. Lower your brightness and turn on low power mode. These will definitely help you get an extra 10 to 20 minutes in the day. Also, turn off Siri if you don't use it, especially Hey Siri, because it's constantly searching for you to say Hey Siri, and if you never use it, that's just a wasted battery. Also, turn off Siri suggested apps if you never use them, and on top of that, if you really want to go all battery saving extreme just turn off Siri completely so go into accessibilities and then from here go ahead and tap on increased contrast go ahead and turn this on so you might notice that the control center is now grayed out and so are the widgets so I'll show you what I mean in a second so if you go and visit an app usually when you swipe up it would be blue to match the background but now it's gray so the iPhone doesn't actually have to focus on blurring and adding these cool effects it can just focus on being functional and you'll save a ton of battery also that'll speed up the animations next up go to privacy settings location services and turn this off completely you will save so much battery this will save you like 30 percent battery Believe me, I've seen the difference. I use this all the time. But if you do need a specific app to have your location, for example, Google Maps, go ahead and turn off every app that you don't need the location services for, and then just turn on the one that you do. Also, go into Motion Fitness and turn off the tracking. Also, go to Share iPhone analytics and turn that off as well and then advertising make sure limit ad tracking is turned on you want this on because this will limit the amount of background processes running on your iPhone while you're not even in Safari and this will actually save battery rather than constantly running in the background even if you're not using Safari so this can be a really good battery saver also go to iTunes and App Store and make sure automatic updates are turned off. When this is turned off, basically what will happen is your iPhone will not update automatically, but you'll save so much battery and you'll probably even save on your data plan. Believe me, I've burned through a data plan on accident just because of this. It automatically turned on with an update. 
So you can go to your notifications, and if you turn off all your notifications, this will save so much battery because every time you get a notification, your screen turns on. But by doing this and setting it to never, your screen will never turn on when you get a text. And also, your phone will never vibrate when you get a text, and it won't be searching for new messages. It'll only search for messages when you go into the app. So make sure this is turned off, and same thing like location services, you can turn on specific apps that you want. So whenever you download a new app and it asks you to, to allow notifications, always click do not allow and you'll actually be saving a lot of battery in the long run. So each of these tricks can get you maybe like an extra 1 or 2% each, some more. But long story short, if you do everything in this video, you can get like an extra 10 to 20, maybe even 30%, which is very, very good when you're low on battery. And this could be the difference of making a phone call to get a ride or something.